back here at the NRA National Farms Museum. I'm with my good friend Phil Schreier, senior curator here. Back in another exciting round of Curator's Corners, we snuck out here in front of the, the Roosevelt Gallery here at, at, at the Beretta Gallery, technically, but it's really the Roosevelt Room, I guess you right, call it, right? Yeah, yeah. Another great display here. And Phil, we walked through this morning, and I'll make this fast because we've got to get to the fire, but it's hard to find it. There's so many great little corners here to the museum. <laughs> it's hard to find a great place to shoot. We settle on this, and, and I just love it. Yeah, it's like going uh, for a walk at night, trying to figure out which, which 32 you want to take uh, walking with you exactly. and next thing you know you spend a half hour trying to decide what pistol to and, grab and you just stay home yeah <laughs> well, so here you just stay in one gallery and that's right here we are well what do we have for curator's corner today well, john something unique we haven't done this before on curator's corner uh notice no white gloves uh oh uh, yeah that's uh pretty that, that's a first in itself i think <laughs> I, I would hope uh but this is a this is a modern gun oh. and uh it it looks uh, deceivingly uh like a Model 1873 Winchester cool. lever action. Right. And uh, the neat thing about this gun is that it is the first lever action 73 to bear the Winchester name since 1919. Wow. Yeah. That, that is cool because it's, it's an unmistakable looking design here. It's so. the gun they won the West, according yeah. to Jimmy Stewart. And it know? does look, <laughs> and we were saying before the interview, it looks like it's in great shape. That's because it's brand new. It's brand new right out of the box. Uh, Winchester manufactured 720,000 of these between 1873 and 1919. And then they stopped producing the Model 73. Uh, Winchester, uh, the corporation that Oliver you know, Winchester put together back in 18, uh, the 1850s uh, kind of has gone through a number of, of different corporate ownerships. Olin Industries, Winchester Western, uh, U.S. Repeating Arms. The name Winchester as a trademark is still owned by Olin. Oh. And so they've licensed that to Morocco of Japan, which has been making firearms for United States Repeating Arms and others. For, for a number of years, Browning. And uh, so this is, the, this is the newest Winchester. Wow. It actually says Winchester, it is a real Winchester. So you can buy yourself a classic. You can, and the neat thing about this one, which again, another curator's corner first, is that it appears on the cover of the November American Rifleman. Oh, cool. This is the very gun that's on the, uh, on the cover of the magazine. And, uh, this is a, a, a gun that was used for different, uh, we, we did a write-up test on the gun. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in uh, 357, 38 mm -hmm. special. Mm -hmm. uh, the original one was available, one of the calibers it was available was in 3840 Winchester Center Fire. So you can shoot 38 special, it's pretty close at it. Real smooth action. Yeah, it sounds great, it looks great too. And uh, oh. we're just real excited about uh, about a brand new gun that uh, that we got to uh, you know look up for the for the magazine. And it's so great to be able to put your hands on, literally put your hands. You were out. out you, I heard it, you were talking before the interview here that you were able to go out and fire this. It's so great to be able to because you see these guns in the cases, and I go to the guys and I'm like, you know, a lot of these guns take them out and fire, shoot them, and this you could go out and take out and own and shoot and and then proudly display on your wall or on your gun case. Absolutely. In fact. Uh, a number of the people that saw this go through the office on the way to the range and back have already asked where they might be able to get one. Nice. So this is going to be just commercially available. That's right. Uh, the uh, retail on this is around uh, twelve ninety five. Mm, nice. Uh, and by the time you all are seeing this at home, this is the uh, uh, November cover cover gun for American Rifleman. Awesome. What a great idea. I love that. That is so cool. And and, and thanks for taking on Curator's Corner because you know what? You already gave me an idea. Christmas right around the corner. Yeah. What does John want for Christmas? Are you listening? <laughs> any? No, but Phil, it's wonderful. And tell, tell folks how they can come and see models like this Winchester and all this great history around us here at the Firearms Museum. Well, John, there would be no uh, American uh, you know, firearms. Uh, there'd be no National Firearms Museum if it w wasn't for the National uh, Rifle Association's American Rifleman Magazine. Uh, the whole collection grew out of publications. You'll see NRA tests stamped into the stock of a lot of these guns. Uh, so you can see other American Rifleman cover guns, uh, test guns, here at the National Firearms Museum in Fairfax, Virginia. 
Uh, you can take Interstate 66 to the intersection of US 50, visit us seven days a week, 9.30 to 5. And if you can't hit us up off the interstate, visit us on the internet, nramuseum.com. Well, Phil, you're always great at throwing these great little surprises. That's why I love doing this. We don't talk about these farms before we sit and talk about them, That's because right. if, make, if that makes any sense. But it's so much fun, because I love to learn along with everyone else here on Sportsman Channel all about the great treasures that you bring out for us. So thanks for doing it again. And that's it for this week, another edition of Curator's Corner from here on NRA News Camera Company on Sportsman's. Coming up next week, we'll see you then, Phil. Thank you very much, John.